Good morning. What a beautiful Monday morning. Good to see you all here on the Real Estate Walk and Talk. This is what I get to look at in the morning here. That's why I'm always in such a positive mood. Right in the morning. So, i um, been listening to a new book. Uh, this one is uh, by John Wooden, the legendary basketball coach. And just one nugget I got from the book today that was really put me in a great mindset and um, also is uh, really applicable to a really cool thing that I get to do this week, um, which I'll tell you about in just a second. So John Wooden, the legendary basketball coach, uh, obviously believed in the value of teamwork. He's probably known best for the incredible teams that he coached, uh, the 10 national championships that he won and the way that he conducted himself. And one of the things that he learned from his father is the value of the team over the individual. And one of the things he required from all of his players is that whenever they made a shot or something great happened, he required that they look for that individual on the team that helped them. Whether it was that person who got the rebound, whether it was that person who blocked the shot, whether it was the person who made a great assist, he always required his teammate who scored to go out and seek out that person and to give them the credit. And I was just thinking about how different that is to, versus today in professional sports. You never see that anymore. I'm a huge Steelers fan, as we all know. And uh, I just think about the guys who get a sack. And now all they do is after they get a sack, they run to the other side of the field, make themselves the spotlight, do some crazy dance. And, um, and that's really where we've gone. Hey, we've got Lee Bishop. Lee, so good to see you, buddy. I appreciate you making that uh, note. And, uh, and saying that you wanted to join these. I appreciate you being here, bud. We're talking about the value of teamwork, and I was learning some lessons from John Wooden, reading his book. Uh, and, and we were talking about how John Wooden would always require that his players would go out of their way to seek the individual on the team that helped them. Rather than take the credit for making the shot, he went and he sought the, the he required his players to go out and seek the other individual. And so... And that's so different than what we see in professional sports today, and it's so different than what we see in the workplace as well, right? In the workplace, you never see individuals go out of their way to thank the person on their team who helped them get the sale or helped them create the project or help them just by answering the phone call or whatever it is. And I think that's what's really missing, you know, unfortunately, especially in corporate America. When I was in working in corporate America, you saw a lot of the opposite. You saw a lot of people stealing credit and definitely not going out of their way to, to give credit. That's due. Um, but I think that's, what's, that's what makes a really great team. It's those individuals who seek others and to give the credit, to share the credit. Um, and that's what, that's what makes a team. That, when I think about JWB, I think that's what makes us great. Because I know that there's a million other ways that people can buy rental properties, but they can't do it with a team that truly cares about each other and is selfless. And when you have a team, when you have 80 individuals moving in the same direction and they're selfless and they care, um, that's the one thing that is, it's unable to be copied. And that's why, you know, the, the, the way to buy rental properties, the way that we do it, where we buy, how we buy, how we build, we're an open book. We share all of that because I'm not concerned about other people understanding exactly how we do things. I think it's great to share that uh, because I, I know at the end of the day, they can't replicate the culture that we've built. And so as you're building your organizations, I'd say focus and deeply, deeply dive in to empowering your team, your culture. You know, when a time like coronavirus comes and it knocks us all back a little bit and makes us reassess, tell you what, it was really, really wonderful knowing the type of teammates that we have and that's because we built a culture of fostering this selflessness of, of other people taking the credit. And uh, when you do that for many, many years, you wind up 15 years later with an incredible organization of people that just like being around. Um, so in, invest in your team, invest in your team, just like John Wooden did. I have a really cool opportunity tomorrow. I'm going to ask you guys to join. I think you're going to want to. Uh, to be there on the Not Your Average Investor show. That's what I do every Tuesday at 1230. Get to interview a guy who knows a, a thing or two about highly effective teams. Uh, former NFL star Kyle Brady is going to be joining us on the show tomorrow. And um, Kyle 
was a star at Penn State, played on the Patriots, played on the Jaguars. I think he was in the NFL for 15 years. Um, an incredible story, uh, but more than anything, an incredible dude. Got to know Kyle over the years. He's a JWB client, and he's built an incredibly successful real estate business after his, after his career. And uh, he's going to share his thoughts with us. So super excited to have Kyle on the show tomorrow. You'll want to join us. Uh, you can get details in the link. It's in the description. And the show is tomorrow at 1230. And uh, Lee, I see uh, you've got a comment here. Let me make sure I, I read that. Lee said, you have a great group on your team. And it's a tribute to your ownership. Hey, Lee, I appreciate it, buddy. Hope you join me in the morning every morning, Lee. I'm going to do these. I do these. You know, I, I do it before I go and get my kids ready for for the day. So somewhere around 7.30, 7.45, maybe sometimes 8 o'clock if I'm cutting it close. Um, but I see we've got three folks watching on the Real Estate Walk and Talk this morning. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Hope to see you tomorrow on the show where uh, Pablo and I get to interview Kyle Brady and uh, invest in that team. All right, guys, have a great one.